Here are some methods of increasing the patency of jugular veins, and this is helpful during central line placement in the internal jugular vein, for instance. You can do a Valsalva maneuver where the patient exhales against closed lips. This generates positive intrathoracic pressure and increases venous distension. You can put the patient in slight Trendelenburg positioning. 10 to 15 degrees should suffice with a head down angle. This increases blood pooling in the superior vena cava and it reduces the risk of venous air embolism. You can also just change your head positioning. A slight head rotation to the contralateral side might help. It increases the right internal jugular vein diameter. And you want to avoid a significant rotation of over 45 degrees because this can increase overlap with the carotid artery, which you want to avoid when placing a central line. You can do manual vein compression. You can gently externally compress proximal to the intended puncture site. This helps stabilize the vein and make it more prominent. And this can be done by an assistant or just using the ultrasound probe for ultrasound guided um, IJ placement. Hydration status is another consideration. You want to ensure adequate fluid status before the procedure because well hydrated patients tend to have more distensible veins. This may involve pre-procedure fluid administration, which can help. You can also do pharmacologic vasodilation, although this is less common and you should try the other things first. Uh, this is rarely used, but you could use nitroglycerin or other vasodilators to help increase the patency. This, of course, would require careful medical supervision.